Hey, can I get a haircut, please? I am number one barber. You come to me, you get best haircut. Better than everybody. I give you number one haircut. So, yes. I give haircut to Michael Jordan, Lionel Messi, and Bruce Wayne. Right, I'm just gonna sit down then, if that's all right. Oh, all right. I was just thinking you could take a little bit off the top. Number one barber. What do you think, eh? Oh wow, that's amazing. It's exactly what I was going for. This is another day, and there is another dot. So today's dot is I and Test that 79er. We're gonna continue the story that we spoke about yesterday with David and Melech. So they give Onim a little bit of context. They came when Yoshua came to conquer Eretz Yisrael, and they said, We came from so far away, just take us as slaves. When in reality, they were from Israel and they were dressing up like they were from far away so that we wouldn't expel them or execute them. You, know, you, you can't you can't really blame them. For, for giving that a shot. By the time we had figured out what was really going on, it was too late. We had made a pact with them. We can't go against our pact. Shaul Melech, our first king, killed an entire city of Kohanim, who this nation, the Givonim, were dependent on. Thus essentially killing them. A little while later, David wants to make things better, so he asks them, what can we give you in return? And they were like, revenge. David was like, how about a lot of money? Revenge. A lot of money. Revenge. Okay, revenge it is. I guess we gotta do this. What kind of revenge? Yeah, seven of Shaul's descendants would do nice. Wow, that's pretty harsh. Uh, all right, let's see if God can decide which one of Shaul's descendants we're gonna give. So that's exactly what happened. They lined up Shaul's descendants in front of the Aaron, and God decided which ones were gonna be given to the Givoni. On that day, the world saw that the Jews are genuinely interested in truth and justice, and 150,000 people joined the nation as slaves on that day. Here we see that the Givonim were never a part of the real Jewish nation because we say every Jew has three things about them. And if they don't have these three things, they're pretty much not Jewish. I shun him, bashful, gomle chesed, reciprocating good actions, and rachmanas, having mercy, compassion for other people. Looking at the Givonim and seeing that they had no rachmanas clearly indicated to us that they were not a part of this nation. So yeah, if you don't feel like you expressed those three, time to start doing the work. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to count the Omer. Bye.